Be yourself. Self-dependence. Stephen, the jackal, was very anxious. He had just been to the nearby village in search of food. As he sneaked into a house, he heard a little boy giggling in another room. He peeped through the window and saw a boy around 7 years old was playing with a ball near his father. The little boy would come every few minutes and either throw his arms around his father's neck or sit in his lap and hug him. Stephen felt amused. The boy must be feeling so important, he thought to himself. Stephen was always worried about feeling important. He always wanted to be the special one. Therefore, he kept imitating instances that caught his attention. After observing the little boy with his father, Stephen also desperate to behave the same way with his father. He also managed a ball to be able to imitate the exact scene. That evening, when his father returned after a long day in the jungle, Stephen started jumping around him trying to play the ball. His father ignored him in the beginning. He knew Stephen was trying to catch attention, but when Stephen jumped into his lap, he got really annoyed. Of course, it was quite unusual for Jigal baby to try and sit in his father's lap. His father leaped aside, leaving Stephen rolling on the ground with a bumped head. Stephen was upset. He wanted to feel important, but his dad almost threw him away. A few days later, Stephen was in the village again. He chanced to see a big crowd under the old neem tree. Stephen was curious. He somehow managed through the crowd to check what was happening. Stephen was amazed to see a huge snake slithering around as the snake charmer played his pipe. Stephen was delighted to see how attentively the people watched the snake. His desire to seek attention got a new idea. He could not wait too long. Soon Stephen was trying to slither under a nearby tree. Since there was no one to play the pipe for him, he decided to produce a similar sound of his own. Well, his strange shrieks and movements did catch attention. When the villagers saw him, they thought that the jackal had gone mad. They were scared that he might hurt them in some way. So they started pelting stones at him. Some of them started beating him with their sticks. Poor Stephen got so goofed up in his act that he could barely stand. He had bruised his skin all over, and the stones and sticks had just added on to his injury. As he tried to run away, but he slipped into a dirty ditch. Badly hurt, scared, and all covered with dirty, muddy water. Stephen somehow managed to run back to the jungle. His mother was in tears to see his condition. Stephen felt awful. He did not get any good attention by his acts. On the contrary, he made his mother cry. Stephen felt ashamed of himself. "I am very sorry, mommy." "It's okay, Stephen. First go and wash yourself." His mother helped him get clean. Then as she was applying ointment on his wounds she explained Stephen we do not need to be someone else to be loved and appreciated each one of us is different our situations are also unique but mommy i want everyone to notice me to appreciate me and to love me said Stephen just be yourself my child be true to yourself and care for others Do not hurt anyone with your words or actions. Do your duties properly and keep on improving even if in bits. Replied Mommy, "Follow honestly what I say and I will talk to you after 6 months." Stephen nodded his head. He followed his mother's advice and much before 6 months, he was already the most talked about jackal in the jungle. And mind you, Everyone spoke good of him. Must watch